All right, welcome you guys. Uh, this is Algebra One A. We are talking about working with sets. Uh, so first off, there's a whole bunch of vocab that we need to know, uh, and what we're going to talk about first is the roster form and the set builder notation. Okay, so just taking a look in your book, you can actually see the definitions in there. Uh, but roster form is just basically you have the definition of what the set is, and set can be anything. Set can be a whole bunch of numbers, a whole bunch of letters, whatever you want. So the set is just, let's say, one, two, three, that's my set. Okay, so this set has three elements, just so we, we know how to count it out. And th the elements are just the amount of things in there. Okay. Oh, you know what? No. Let me rephrase that. It has four elements. It's weird, but we also include... Let me cross that out. Okay, and there's four elements. And that set is the empty set. Okay, and the empty set... Well, I don't have a symbol for that but I'm just going to say it's the empty set right there okay that is also in there so the every every item has that amount of elements plus one it's kind of weird that you can count it as a element but it actually is okay so that is roster form so in other words it's where you list out all the numbers all right now set builder notation is how do you build it up Okay, so in other words, you still have the same thing. So let's say we have set T, but in this case, we say you say the variable first, and then you say the absolute value uh, line next. Uh, You say, let's say x is an even number uh, less than 16. Okay? And that way you can build up, you can actually build your roster form from that. So you can say, oh, t is uh, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, and you can't include 16. And we probably should also say, just to be exact, is a positive even number less than 16. Okay? All right, and that's pretty much how you just do set builder notation in roster form. Okay, so those ones are pretty easy. And then empty set, obviously, is also an element of this. So to go around and put it in here there would be an empty set in there okay an empty set is just it's really kind of an interesting thing because you can actually uh, have a set so if we put our notation in here so the curly brace and then a curly brace again with the empty set this is kind of a cool trick you can do I don't know how many of you guys are going to go to your next party but you can basically say mathematically nothing is something so even though I have nothing in there I actually have something because this counts as a thing so it's actually kinda cool how it works that way alright alright now how does this help us out this actually helps us out with listing the uh, number answers for inequalities okay so that's how we're going to be working with that now the complement of a set, okay, now the complement set is just like the reverse. So if we have a set, uh, let's say the set, let's say it's S is uh, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, okay and our original set universal well not original let's call that O was the uh, and I'll practice writing it out 
was x such that x is all numbers less than or equal to all two four three all numbers less than or equal to tw uh, 12 okay all right so this right here is what we call a subset of the original set okay so this original set is up here O and then the subset is S okay now the complement of S I would say S apostrophe would be all the numbers not included in that set so it'd be uh, well I would have to go back to this one in the beginning and say Let's get rid of that. Positive x, such that x is less than, you know, or equal to 12. All right, so the numbers are just the complement of the set, are just the numbers that are not included in that special subset. So 1, 3, 5, 7, uh, 9. 11 and 12 okay notice I'm including 12 as well because uh, it can actually be there because it's numbers less than or equal to 12 and that's all the numbers in there okay so a couple bit of it is just what it is not and when you're looking at a Venn diagram okay if we were looking at a specific type of diagram let's go fill it with red Okay, so let's say everything was in here, set A. Okay, everything that's not in there is the complement. So it would be A, it would be everything else. Okay, so you could say the number in the red dot would be, uh, or the collection of data could be um, the amount of presidents born in Virginia. And then the complement would be the amount of presidents not born in Virginia. And then the whole set would be, you know, the amount of presidents born in the U.S., which has to be 100% because you can't be born outside of the U.S. and get a presidency. Okay. All right. Uh, that is, let me just double check to make sure everything's all good. That is pretty much it for sets. You just have to take your time and think about it because what this does is this helps you count out items uh, and to make sure you're not double counting, to make sure you're not triple counting, to make sure you're not under counting. In other words, you're forgetting a number. And that's all we need for Algebra 1A uh, with working with sets right now. Thank you guys very much and have a great day. Bye.